a little bit using your specific experiences, why it takes so long. Andrew. Sure. So, you know, we were dealing with this massive uh, system. It was the single, uh, it's the biggest uh, line item in the Texas budget. It's uh, regulated by the largest state agency in the country that has like about 50,000 employees. And so to get inside of that took, um, takes a huge amount of effort. Um, we ended up by the time we were done with this with, I want to say, around 70,000 pages of records. Um, so, you know, you can imagine that reading that and understanding that and unpacking that takes a huge amount of time. And then also turning around and boiling that down in a way that we can explain it to people and make them care um, about the stories of the people that we're telling. Uh, it's a huge undertaking. It's a huge undertaking. And, you know, obviously making sure that all of that is, is accurate and, you know, it's a, it's a huge amount of work and it takes a lot of time and you don't see the efforts until the end, you know, so when we How are, long did it take? About 18 months. I mean, and that was with us doing other stuff, you know, in between, off and on. But I mean, it was uh, it was well over a year to to find this story, and well worth it. Absolutely, <laughs> Julie. How about you? Well, I began this story uh, probably as a result of some um, tips that I got about this case, which had been written about pretty widely over the past 10 years. It was a 10-year-old case. I sort of approached this case. There was, uh, of course, lots and lots of documents, and I approached this case the way that a, I think a, a police detective who joins the force opens up a box and has a cold case and they decide they want to, you know, do a forensic examination of it after all these years. So, you, so what do you do? You have to go over every single piece of evidence all over again. And what happens when you do that sometimes is you discover new things in that, in that evidence or you find people who back then didn't want to talk and maybe they want to talk. In this particular case, I, I actually began this project uh, which was about the abuse of, of probably hundreds of young teenage girls in Palm Beach by a very wealthy uh, billionaire. Uh, I began it by trying to figure out who the girls were because they were underage. Nobody knew who they were. And I thought to myself, if I could get them now, then, you know, they were teenagers then and now they're in their 30s, they might be willing to talk about this, especially in the wake of uh, Alexander Acosta, the prosecutor, being nominated for President Trump's cabinet post. So it just took a long time to, uh, you know, just deconstruct the whole case, find the women, and, you know, start from scratch, essentially. Congratulations on the work. It's fantastic. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And Sasha, you've done a lot of interesting work, and I guess uh, the perhaps, I, I, well, not even perhaps, but the most high profile of which was the Boston Globe Spotlight uh, series uh, or investigation that was turned into a movie that we've all seen, right? Um, so, you know, let's talk about how long it took to do that investigation. That was a relatively quick investigation, only because part of it involved us trying to unseal some public records with the help of the Globe's lawyers. The lawyers were successful, and suddenly we had a date when we knew public records were going to be released, which meant they would be open to other media outlets as well. So we really had to race to make sure the reporting we had done for about five or six months didn't go to waste and we could have our story. But there is often a huge public document, public records element to these stories, and it takes a long time to find them, to get them, to appeal uh, rejections of public records requests. In the movie, there's a scene where we realize that if you go through the annual directories of the Archdiocese of Boston, you can track what priests are in which churches and where they've been moved over the years. In the movie, it was about a three minute exciting montage of us in different places going through the directories. In real life, it was three weeks of absolute tedium that I think probably damaged all of our eyesight because we were having to so carefully go through these directories. But that's the reality of this work, time consuming, sometimes tedious, but a big payoff in the end, but not quick. Right, exactly.